Hi there. Welcome to this devotion. The Olympics are over and the medalist names are now recorded and have their place chiseled in history. And all their sacrifices and training has paid off. And I must admit, it's spectacular to watch them in action. My little one, he had a, he had a big walk at school and he got a medal for finishing his 10 laps. And he's so chuffed that, that he went to bed proudly wearing that medal that he had got. So getting a medal at the Olympics, <laughs> it must be the pinnacle of an athlete's career. But for every winner, there's a whole field of losers that are, that are crushed by disappointment. And, it's, and for me, it's so sad to see them losing. Because losing, it's tough. Sandro Bazedze, the world number one in fencing, he had this furious rant at the referee when he was eliminated in the last 16 of the men's sabre. Go look it up. It's, it's, it's really sobering to see. Sandro Bazedze. But what is it that makes some people explode like that? What is it that makes a person so driven to succeed that they cannot bear to fail? Few of us have ever achieved Olympic greatness. And we, and, and we, we, but we have this, this inner tendency to believe that our values is also based on what we can achieve. We have this, this culture that is continuously sending the message that our worth, that our approval is all about performance. And, and we fiercely strive for results. And, and we fall into this trap where we see our very identity. We believe that our, that our personal identity revolves around performance. And it is so toxic. Believing that this lie, that our identity and our performance, the results that we achieve, is linked to our identity. That may well be why Bazedze exploded when he, when he was denied success. He may well have been denied who he thought he really was. We do this to our children and, and their grades at school. We, we hear thousands of children that suffer with anxiety as they believe their self-worth is connected to the results of a good grade. I, I've been in a working environment where, where people are performance managed. And, and this drives people to burnout. One would think that, that when we retire that, the, that it would go better. You know, the pressure is off. But then there's this bucket list that drives people as, as part of who they believe they are. So all people in all walks of life can fall into this false belief that their identity is linked to performance, that their identity is linked to results. But there's a better way. We can discard this lie and, and draw near to the truth that our real identity, our real worth is found in who we are as loved children of God. We, we can rest in the assurance that we are loved regardless of our performance, regardless of our achievement, regardless of, of our result, regardless of the medal we go to bed with. We are, we are so much loved children of the living God. Our security, our identity is linked to this unconditional love that we find in God through Jesus the Christ. If Pazedze believed this, believed this, yes, Yes, he would have been disappointed by the judge's decision, but he would not have been destroyed by it. Out of the 10,714 Olympians, only, well, a whole 9,670 didn't get medals. And I'm sure they're disappointed. And, and, and I hope that they are not crushed. I hope that they see their identity more than what they achieve in the Olympics. Being secure in the love of God is not about avoiding competition. <laughs> being, being secure in the love of God means we can pursue greatness without having our identity linked to the result. Our identity is not stolen by our grades. Our identity is not stolen by our jobs. Our identity is not stolen by our medal. We give our best at all times and we do all with all our heart. And, and our God is a God of grace who loves and cherishes us unconditionally, including those who don't even qualify for the Olympics. As much as those 1,044 that got medals, as much as my 
little four-year-old sleeping with his medal at night. God cherishes each of them unconditionally. May you know the security of God's unconditional love in who you are. Till we meet again, God bless.